Hey everyone, Ali Rizzo here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to learn how we can add reverb to our sound effects scenario. Here as you can see, when I'm outside of this room, when I jump, I have this sound. As you can hear, there is no reverb and echo to it, but when I enter the room, there is this echo and the sound looks like this so you can use this effect in different areas of your project and for example you can enter a cave or some area that you want to change the audio so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up All right, here I'm using a first person template and a first person character and I am in Unreal 5.6 but it doesn't matter which version you use. Just open up your first person character and here in our event graph I want to play a sound when my character jumps. So here as you can see this part is for jumping and after this function I am going to drag off a wire play sound at location for this we need to define the sound define the location and also define an attenuation so first of all i'm going to choose the sound it doesn't matter which one you go with i'm going with possess player like this then i need to define a location so let's get the actors location itself and then we need an attenuation so here let's go back to our content browser here right click in audio create a sound attenuation let's name it sa for example one two three open it up and here we don't need to change anything but of course you can experiment with these settings and achieve different results for example we can set the attenuation function on natural sound and now we want to use this in our play sound at location function great now if i play and hit space you can see that the sound is played when i jump all right now let's create the reverb effect in order to do that you need to go to your place actor sub search for audio volume and drag it into your level let's scale it up so it covers the whole area something like this great and now here in the details tab you can see we have this reverb settings and inside it we can choose a reverb effect these are all the different templates that come with unreal and you can use them for your projects in this case i am going with large hall here we have volume fade time and all these settings can be used but for now I'm going to keep everything at default and play and see what happens so here when I'm outside of the room this is the audio and when I go in as you can see I have the room so yeah that's it for this tutorial and as you can see it's a very simple setup and you can use it in different scenarios in your games thanks for watching see you in the next video